Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to Spotlight. We have another informative show for you tonight. Uh, the new tourist season is about to begin and the fun is about to start. The launch of the Food Fit 2016 is this weekend and there are a slew of activities ahead right up to December. And I have my good brother Rodney Skelton with me. He's, of course, the events manager. We're going to be talking about all the activities coming up, all the fun we're going to have in the next few months leading up to the beginning of the new season. Good to see you, my brother. Good to be back. Yeah, man. Um, no, no, you know, I was away at school for a little bit. Now I feel like I'm officially back. One, once I get on the spotlight, that means I'm officially back to work. Yes, and congratulations on your, your master's Thank and you. your achievement. Thank you. Hard yeah. work. Hopefully yeah. uh, I get to use some of what I've learned to make our, make our industry a little bit better. Okay, cool. What did you study? Um, I, I got a master's in tourism with project management. All right, cool, cool. So, just, just what we need. I, I hope so. All right, so you're going to go for your PhD, right? Oh, you went too, you went oh too give, old. Give, me, give me a little chance. Give me a chance, bro. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. I don't get to see you no more playing basketball. You look like you're getting old. Uh, the sneakers too expensive. But a pair of sneakers now is $300. Uh, that's, a, that's an investment. I got to show you where the shop. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. My, fair enough. My sneakers don't cost more than $100. Well, you got to take me shopping. I got to show you where the shop. <laughs> So anyhow, listen, um, food fed coming up. Yes. That's the beginning of uh, the activity, the fun this year. That's fun. The launching is this weekend. Mm -hmm. So what's up? What have we got to look we, forward we to? We have so much exciting things um, coming up. Um, we start on Friday. Friday is the kickoff. Friday is the thing to let everybody know, you know, our tourism season is about to jump off. Um, you know, in years past, the month of November, which typically kicks off, Tourism, not just in the BVI, but throughout the Caribbean region. Um, you know, that was just entitled the Tourism Month. And uh, about four, three years ago, under the directorship of Sharon Flax uh, Brutus, um, we decided to, to, to use one of our niche markets. You know, we go after honeymoons and weddings, um, sports tourism, and things of that nature. We try to use culinary tourism to help to drive folks here to the BVI, help us to really jumpstart that, that tourism season. So we have BVI Food Fed, and we're in our third year of BVI Food Fed. So on Friday, which is just a couple days away, Friday, September 23rd, uh, we're going to have a grand fish fry and launch. I mean the traditional fish fry with some Johnny cakes and things like that, and where we can get a chance to socialize and make King Garden Bay, because that's where it's taking place, Make that our happy hour spot on, on, on Friday, Friday. Friday afternoon. Yes. And uh, where, 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 where area in King Garden be? Well, we're going to be by the historic um, Carl Woods Rum Distillery. And we know that Carl Woods is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, still operating family-owned mm -hmm. um, distilleries throughout the Caribbean region. So there's lots of history. There's, there's lots for our tourists to come and, and get a chance to see what this rum distillery is all about. If you've been down there, it still, you know, still has a lot of its old rustic feel. Um, the creation of the rum is still happening the same way. Um, so it's taking place at Carlwood's Rum Distillery. Um, you know, typically at the end of the show, I have to stick this one in. At the end of the show is when we just say thanks to everybody who's, who, who helped mm -hmm. to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to stick them in in the middle while we still have the audience's yeah. attention. We don't want to finish the show. And then Rodney saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody, everybody right. don't tune out the long thing. Yeah. So um, the Ministry of Communication and Works, um, Honorable Mark Vanterpool, uh, Public Works Department, the, the Permanent Secretary in that ministry, um, they've agreed to come and kind of pave the area in front of Carlwood to, to build up the, the aesthetics a little bit, make sure that when we come out there and them ladies, you know how them ladies dress in these days mm -hmm. with those um, high heel shoes? Um, make sure that they don't trip and fall over some of the old roots from, from those, um, those trees got to be a couple hundred years old well. So they've come out and they're paving the area. We're going to have high boys. We have tents. We're going to have uh, people like Nettie, you know, well-known Nettie down in King Garden Bay. Yes. Um, Ellis Carlwood and, and a couple of other folks are going to be there frying up fried fish and Johnny Cake. Now, when we hear Arundel rum mm -hmm. or we hear Carlwood's rum, mm -hmm. the first thing we think, my son, that's a drink for... Them are a man. Them man who work hard in construction, mm -hmm. or they might have a, a little bit of challenge at home with the wife. That's what Carl Woods rum is for. That's what that hard, strong rum is for. Mm -hmm. um, we've hired a mixologist to come in, mm -hmm. and he's going to change the way we think about Carl Woods rum. 
you know so he's mixing up drinks a little fruity drinks drinks that the ladies can appreciate we want to change the concept of of arundel rum and and make it a drink that just like how we go out and we order in hennessy and and bacardi yeah, and brugal, brugal and, uh, santo domingo and america yeah, yeah, i don't yeah. i ain't got a problem with the cruise yeah, you know you know that a little part yeah, of me there is yeah, the cruise yeah, yeah, um but we want that all people when they go to the bars we're asking for you know a, a whatever uh, the girl next door with Arundel rum in it. That's just a drink that that's, that just made a pop up of my mind. So so the whole concept of this big fish fry and launch is to incorporate the Carlwood rum, bring people around the area. There are lots of folks who have never been down there. Mm. Um, and just have a grand old time. We have our DJ Dre is going to be down there spinning music for us. Um, once the, the, the representatives come out and, and we give our speech, which ain't the reason why we really there. Right. We get to eat yeah. some fried fish. Yeah, yeah. that last a couple of minutes. Yeah, that we, we, we're going to be yeah. in and out. Yeah. Um, but we really want to have a nice festive time, keep folks down in King Garden Bay. Once the launch is finished and we've given you all the information about the month of November, um, then we go over to Myatt's, and Myatt's has agreed to host an after party for us. Mm, okay. And they're also going to have some um, fried fish and Johnny Cake down there. They're going to have a band playing. You know, we, we want to incorporate King Garden Bay. We, it, well, I know you love Anigata, so we don't have Anigata locked in. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Jazz Van Dyke in a while. Yeah. We know that King Garden Bay is one of our major economic areas when it comes yes. to tourism. Yes. So we wanted to, to, to incorporate One of our them. better tourism areas. Be yes, yes, yeah, yes. One of our better tourism areas. So this Friday... The um, you, you, can you say who the mixologist is? No, can't can't say that as yet. Yes, yes, we yes. want we want you to come down and 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 okay. see. Now some of the drinks. I had a, um, the, the, we, I went to the to the, the cruise pair. We got a mixologist mm -hmm. at the cruise pair. You know that, right? I, I wasn't there for that one. Well, uh, the, you know, the young a young brother, okay. young Ray, my brother. You have a little kiosk. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, he's very good. That, he's very yeah, good. That's, yeah, a, yeah. that's a bad brother. Yeah, he's good. Um, I, I think on Fridays, on Fridays, he has a nice, he has a nice little crowd down yeah. there by him. Mm -hmm. yeah, we may need to reach out to him. Yeah, big him up. Yeah, big him up. And um, as he, you know, I said, I say, listen, just make something for me, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, I, and, he, and it's no problem. He I don't add, well, I don't add, no, no drinks. I just say, make up mm -hmm. something. Let me see what wow. I could do. Okay, all and right. And he'll hook me up, I'll experiment and try different, you know, because I don't like, I don't necessarily like the taste of rum mm -hmm. and I don't drink to get drunk. Okay. You know, so I like a refreshment. Mm -hmm. And so I just, you know, want to have it. And he knows how you want it. it the better, better bad. And this is what we want. And we know that we have talent um, just like him. We have talent throughout in the culinary field. We have uh, talent as mixologists. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we're going to, I know you're going to try to pull out a little bit of what's happening in case you can't make it to the launch. Um, but we have so much going on in this month. It's very exciting. I told you I'm going to give my, 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 my um, my thank yous in between. So I have to thank my whole team at the Tourist Board, and it's not just the events team. You know, I have um, Cindy Rosanne and Takesha Donovan mm -hmm. um, working with me, but it's the whole team, them in creative and those online that's helping to drive everything and um, people like Natalie Penn doing the education because we have an educational component as well. Uh, there's just the whole team is working to the point that our director has mandated, um, I'm, I'm still going to try to steal away for a day or two that, no tourist boat staff can take vacation in the month of November. Well, I, I would imagine so. Because, because we have so much to do. I mean, I, I, have, to, I have to commend the tourist board, you and, and, and the rest of your team, for creating this, this, this environment, this, this, these facilities, these activities over the, the October, November mm -hmm. um, months, you know. And it's a, a lot of fun because uh, it's almost like you create a staycation package yes. For, 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 for Virgin Islanders, and then people who want to come in can come in. Yes. But I think that we, we enjoy this, this particular period uh, in, in tourism in our country. Uh, more, I think, more than I think any other any, any other, other time. time of the year. Yes. And, that, and that's the goal. And whenever you're, do, you're doing events like this, you have to connect with your home base. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's, it's refreshing for us to hear that we have connected with the home base, and people are getting really excited. We know the Lobster Festival started four years ago. And that created a buzz, you know. And now we have all these other events. Um, it's it's going to come up. We have the Just Pork coming up in Just Van Dyke. Yeah. Even for those folks who don't eat pork, yeah, I'm hearing yeah. folks saying, you know, 
they can't wait to pop over to Joss Van Dyke to be able to enjoy this event. But I don't eat lobster either. And you don't eat lobster, but you still, I, I, you're I, probably I, one of our biggest patrons. Yeah, I, 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 this is the third annual uh, This would be lobster, the fourth. The fourth annual lobster, fourth, yes. so I, 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 I'll probably be four for four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but the thing is, is the, the atmosphere, That's it. Uh, the environment, That's the relaxation, it. The, the activities, the fun. And I, I didn't want to jump too far, far over to the <laughs> lobster fest, you know, but I got to go here to the grave, but that they're going to have a big music fest in the lobster fest. That well, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot. You're putting me on the spot. But I'll, I'll say this, because this is nothing that, um, that will change um, in, in the launch. Uh, it is one of our goals to have on that Saturday night to have a nice blowout concert um, right across from the roundabout and have that area cleared out and have a small stage. Nothing, nothing major, mm -hmm. but I have a small stage and an artist who you know connects with our people and take the Anagata Lobster Festival, just one little notch well, well, higher. We know that when we're there in the nighttime, you know, um, Anagata is a beautiful place, but at night, you know, things, th things tend to slow yeah. down. We don't. So we I look at, so I hear Friday night we're gonna have a, 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 a old, old, old goldies well, um, show as well uh, here in Sugar Grave. But that, that that's gonna be that's gonna be done by um, some of the local businesses there. That's not necessarily um, tourists. And you gotta realize the tourists both can't do everything. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're glad to hear that some of the private businesses are stepping forward and taking more responsibility for these events because the events really are to benefit them. You know, the BVI Tourist Board, yes, we may get some accolades and all that, but it's not to benefit us. It's really to benefit them. So it's good to hear that. Yeah. We're going to have the bar but, crawl on the Friday as well. Yeah, but it needs some, it needs some, uh, yeah, after the bar crawl, we need, uh, we need a jam. Well, you know, and, and, and old people who are going to be there. When you know. say old people, I don't want I mean, people that. like you. <laughs> <laughs> the great, the great, the great beds, them coming in, yes, they're coming in. Uh, the seasoned people, the seasoned yeah, yeah, folks, yeah. yes. Guy, I know I ain't old. I mean, Not at all. If the listening audience, I don't know which camera I need to look at, but if the listening audience ever get to see you on a basketball court, <laughs> like how we to see you on a basketball court, that brother bad. Yeah. <laughs> so we we looking to have some fun in the yes. this in the gallery this year. Yeah, so, but then you got, you have, after, um, right after the launching of the, yes. of the food, the food fest, of mm -hmm. course, then you have the, the culinary, the competition, the, the, the barefoot soiree. Yes. Tell us about all the activities that's going to be coming up um, following. Well, Just give us a little taste of what's We're going what's to have about. the junior chef competition. Mm -hmm. And it's going to happen both on Virgin Gorda and on Tortola, on us, excuse me, and on Tortola, where our junior chefs are going to compete to see who will be crowned as the junior chef um, champion for the BVI. And that person will also be featured throughout the, um, the whole month of, of November, the BVI Food Fed Month. We also have the table setting we competition. Send, we usually send the junior chef away to the, 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 the culinary arts um, competition, yes. international culinary arts. Ask them. The show is usually in Miami. Um, um it, it depends. It depends okay. on oh, where it's, it's okay. no. It's not a, um, a set place. place. Okay. And you mentioned the Barefoot Gourmet Soiree, which is a slightly uh, more upscaled event. Mm -hmm. And the proceeds from that event helps to give the sponsorship um, to one of our culinary students as well to be able to go off and um, pursue a career in in the culinary arts. Um, so those are the two things that are coming up. In between, you're going to have the junior chef competitions. You're going to have the table setting competitions. And then we go into Barefoot Gourmet Soiree, and that's taking place over on Norman Island this year. Oh, okay. So we know that you know Norman Island has been completely rebuilt and, and yes. looks really nice. Uh, we have some meetings this week with the staff over there. We went over and did a site visit today. And that event is a little bit more upscale. Um, we understand that times are a little bit tough. You know, we're still going through a little bit of an economic period. Mm -hmm. So we um, brought the price down on the tickets last year. They were 200 This year, they're going to be um, about 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have international chefs. We're bringing chefs in from away to help to um, bring this event together. We're taking them out to the Culinary Institute, the, the chefs that we're mm -hmm. bringing in. Mm -hmm. We're taking them to the vocational school to inspire our young people who have a little bit of interest in culinary and let them know that there's a, there's a real viable career for them if they follow, you know, the, their love and, and, and stuff for culinary. Yeah. I know last year's soiree was, was hot because uh, you had a DJ 
you had a band mm -hmm. and you were dancing on the beach and you know well, I, we, we were getting along on the beach. Unfortunately I was still away with my nose and my books. Yeah. So I didn't get a chance to enjoy so, last this, year. But this, this year. I'm here this year. This year so yeah. I'll, I'll be there as well. And we're gonna have um of course entertainment and all of that as well. Um, we're looking to incorporate a lot of our, our local, uh, everything that we do. I, if you know me, Cromwell, um, uh, everything that I do, I, I think it's BVI for BVI Landers, BVI first. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, uh, we're working on, on getting a nice set together with people like Kamau, um, Dylan Vanterpool, and Weida, and folks like our local mm -hmm. um, artists to have them come and showcase their talents in that setting as well. A few nights ago, I went to a uh, dinner in white function. It was a private function. Mm -hmm. And um, Jeremy Vanterpool was blowing, and Monique Chapdelaine was was on stage, and she was um, blowing her pipes. Yeah, you know? yeah, had the best of the best. And it was it was lovely. It really it really was. So this is the type of um, atmosphere that we want to create at the Barefoot Gourmet Soiree. So that's in, that's on October October thirtieth. Let me give out a little bit of the schedule. Yeah, but let me, before, yeah, let me, let me, let me, we gotta take a break. Okay, and then we are gonna come back. And, and, and talk more about the schedule, talk more about all the events coming up, okay. and, and just give people a little teaser on some of what's, so what's happening. Because you're not going to talk about this all day. Well, we, well, we got a, a, a good bunch of time. Good, <laughs> good. <laughs> we'll be right back with more tourism, tourist board activities, food fetch right after these words from our sponsors. Keep it locked. Spotlight is brought to you by CCTBVI, Life Unlimited, and the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the official bank of paradise. Instagram, you name it, I have it. I use it for my internet, Skype, WhatsApp, YouTube, everything. I can upload photos, share files, have meetings. The data is ridiculously fast. And when they switch to this LTE, wow, the speed is incredible. Unlimited, unlimited, unlimited! I don't have to go. How much data do I have? It's there! The other networks, I could WhatsApp on this one. I absolutely love it. You have to get it, BVI. Thank you, CCT. Serving the community for over 25 years, Tortola Concrete Limited is the leading producer of concrete products in the BVI. With grades of 3,000 to 5,000 PSI, Tortola Concrete ready mix quality unmatched in the industry and we can mix to your specifications. Our aggregates are clean through our unique washing process for our smooth clean mix and our special chilling process makes our concrete crack resistant. Tortola Concrete Limited is the concrete company for all your quality concrete products. Gravel. Road base, face stone, boulders, armor rock, coarse sand, terrace, and the cleanest, strongest, crack resistant, ready mix concrete. Tortola Concrete Batch Plan serve you Monday to Saturday, 7 a.m. until the last load. Our knowledgeable, effective staff gives you free estimate and delivers on time to any location. Contact Tortola Concrete at 494 3259, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Conveniently located in Parkwood Pond near the BVI Electricity Plant. At Tortola Concrete Limited, the strength is in the mix. What are you doing with your life? With your life. What are you doing with your life? Hanging out on the corner where there is no future. What are you doing with your life? Tell me. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm here with Rodney Skelton, the events, man, events, events manager, marketing manager, events yeah. marketing manager for BVI Tourist Board, and we're talking about all the fun stuff. Uh, and this is my favorite time at the end of BVI when um, 
Rodney them and Torres both put on all the fun stuff that uh, we like to go to. Stuff to eat, mm -hmm. things to drink, uh, you know, entertainment. This is, this is, this is, this is my, my, my time to experience the tourism product. You know, and I, and, and I have to say for the last few years, I've been uh, having a, a, a lot of fun and enjoying it uh, tremendously. I'm really, really glad that y'all came up with these ideas to, um, to, to, to have, make it, make it a, stay, a staycation for us. And I did, when, when the staycation um, concept came out, I did have a staycation. It was okay. that was fabulous. I can't stop uh, talking about that. Enough. But yeah, I didn't give me another staycation. Well, the, so the staycation... I ain't going to give you too much publicity until I get, you know... Well, no. we're trying our best <laughs> just, to, to pull... I'm just, I'm just joking. We're trying to pull them together. We have staycations every year, and we really um, would like more of our locals mm -hmm. to take advantage of the staycation. Um, you know, it, it, it works twofold. It gives you, the locals a chance to experience what these tourists are really spending all this money to come here for a, at a huge discount. It's serious. And at the same time, because it's a slower period of the year, it also helps to keep those businesses open. We know typically, um, you know, businesses close down for maybe a month or so, and, and they say it's for renovations and repairs. But we know that if those businesses had their way, they wouldn't want to close at all. Yeah. But yeah. It's, just the, it's just the economics of the whole thing. But I've, I've always been interested in that, uh, that aspect, and I know we, we strain a little bit, but I, I've always been interested in that aspect of our tourism season. Uh, the, the, the summer months, mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 it's when I was living in the States, mm -hmm. were the, the time when... Um, middle income, middle to upper income, you know, people would go on vacation. The professionals, the professional class, would go on would go on vacation. The, the executive class would go in the in the, in the winter, mm -hmm. and, the, and the professional class would go in the summer. And I, I always w wonder why we don't uh, make packages because uh, they they can't quite afford uh, the the luxury suites. Mm -hmm. But they could afford um, some, good, some ho good hotels and make some packages to keep, uh, to bring some of those persons here. I know we like to talk about high end, high end, high end. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we could, we could increase our we land, our land based tourism, I think, by doing some marketing to that professional class, you know, the middle managers. Well, we and, do. And we so do, on. we do, but I, I think some of it is it, there may be, there's the economic um, part mm -hmm. that's going on. We know that the economics in, in worldwide has changed. Um, over the years, from 9/11, come straight down to you know the U.S. going through um, its issues with its banking banking industry, and so and this is one thing that we need to realize: the two industries, and I might be straying a little bit now, mm -hmm. the two industries that drive the BVI's economy, we have no control over them. Right. I mean, we at the BVI Tourist Board, we do the best that we can to mitigate you know the, the other factors mm -hmm. that are happening. Um, worldwide, but at the end of the day, we're really at the mercy of, of what's happening yes, internationally. Yes, yes. Um, but I can say that we do. We have packages for every time of the year, mm -hmm. every time that you can think of. Our staff, um, Perla George, and them out in the North American agency. You have our Germany office, our Italy office, and we're doing everything that we can to try to fill the gaps so that we no longer say that there's a slow season. And we have to also realize that the U.S. market and what drives the U.S. market is completely different than what drives the European market, mm -hmm. different from what drives the United Kingdom market. And so different times of the years, different, um, what do you call them, psychographic things help to affect, you know, whether they're coming in May or whether they're coming in, in November. Yeah, and of course, um, you know, uh, 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 I think last year, a couple of years ago, the, the Caribbean Tourism Organization um, put out uh, information saying that uh, by 2018, uh, you're going to have about a hundred million tourists coming from Asia, and I'm wondering why um, why we not we you know haven't heard any attempts to, to to take a look at you know I know we have we have the financial services mm -hmm. office in Asia, and I think that we could walk through that office to bring some of those um, those tourists here to the BVI, even though it's a it's a, a quite long, a distance commute, yeah. quite a distance and I, and, 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 and uh, with the you're getting direct flights. Um, the, we just see an article in the mm -hmm. uh, in the in the, uh, the Caribbean Journal, the di director uh, Brutus mm -hmm. uh, talking about direct flights uh, about the staff. Yes. We're, we're we're heading we're, we're heading in the right direction. I think um, by having the, the the BVI Finance Center uh, in in the Asia House, I think that is one. That, you know that was the inroads for us to get out there. Um, 
we're seeing a lot more products coming out of that market. Uh, and, and I think we're going to start to see more folks come once they know that it's easier to get here than they previously thought. Right now, um, to get from any of the, the Asiatic countries, it may take them a, you know, maybe two days to get here. Mm -hmm. When they may have to overnight somewhere else and connecting uh, maybe in St. Thomas or Puerto Rico. And that, that, that can take away. I have 10 days of vacation or 14 days of vacation. And I'm going to lose two traveling to get here and two traveling to leave. That's, that, that, that cuts down my vacation. Mm. Um, so that's some of the challenges that we've had historically. That is starting to change. Mm -hmm. um, under, again, you mentioned Sharon Flax and our chairman, um, Russell Harrigan. I know that they've been, and the premier, of course, junior minister. Of, I have so much people to give thanks to. Junior, junior um, tourism mm -hmm. minister, um, Honorable Archie Christian. I know that they have been working very hard to try to, again, mitigate some of these things, control what we can control. And that starts with the, the direct flights. The government, of course, has been talking about the, the airport. Um, I, I, I don't know if it would be uh, remiss of me to be Picking aside, but I, I do know that, that we do need to do something with the airport to mm -hmm. be able to accommodate slightly larger planes um, and have those direct flights coming to and from all of our source markets. Um, what I'm happy about is that we, we haven't waited to get airlift mm -hmm. where we're planning Planet. the airport. We, we, we walk in, that hand was, in hand. Yeah, so hand, that was, hand. That, that, that's, a, that's a major step for me because I've been um, talking about it for a year. Uh, practically about getting airlift because what we really need is airlift. Yes. Getting airlift mm -hmm. and, and where we're we planning for the, an expansion. Yes. And so I'm happy to see uh, the government uh, make it, that decision. In, in, it's in something that I, it's I think about, it's about to start very soon. I think we're right, we're right there at the right period. I think we may, may even still be a little bit late. Mm -hmm. um, 60s, 70s, 80s, the Caribbean was the vacation place um, to go to. We now have competition from all over the Pacific Islands, um, Seychelles, and, and, and the Hawaiian Islands, and even at the top of, of our, our archipelago with, with, with the Bahamas. And competition is coming from all oh, over sorry, now. Yeah. Vacationing is no longer just on sand and sea. I'm going to the Caribbean to vacation. So we have to stay a, a step ahead of the curve. We have to offer the market more than just, hey, we got the natural environment and that's it. You know, so this is where this whole month of BVI Food Fet comes in. Um, this is where we need more activities. We need a little bit more nightlife um, generating. If we want these cruise ships to stay a little bit later, then the businesses may need to stay open a little bit later and offer a little bit of entertainment and things like that. But we're doing what we can. Again, we, we can only control what we can control. And so this is why we're here working on, on getting this BVI Food Fet and adding a little excitement and jazzing things up. You know. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, and we left off talking about the, uh, the barefoot uh, sorry, and, and, and how, much, how much fun that was in, in looking to Norman Island this year. And I know the Peter Island venue was an excellent venue, and I'm, um, I'm hoping that, that the Norman Island venue would be uh, as, as, as good as, as the Peter Island was, yes. mm -hmm. and we could have a, a good time there as well. But that, that, is, uh, that has been a lot of fun. I, at first, I didn't think that I was going to uh, enjoy that, but uh, the food, good. yeah, the food was excellent. You know, you had some excellent samples. You had all international chefs there. Uh, um, Brother uh, Klein. Neil Klein. Neil Klein yes. wife. Neil Klein wife is a chocolatier. She's going to be back. She just opened up, a, um, I think she just opened blue, up blue, blue, blue chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. And she had some serious desserts. And, of course, my good brother, uh, Garvey. Garvey, yes, Ham Henry. Garvey Henry, yes. I mean, he's a bob. I mean, well, he's like, you can't tell whether it's a cake or a bag. Yeah. And so this is, this, this <laughs> is just a microcosm of the, of the yeah, talent that we yeah, have here. Yeah. And um, even right there at the, at the Culinary Institute, um, Neil Klein, I think he helps to, to run that program. And he has turned me over to, to, to um, Brother Garvey Henry to help organize the educational side of what we're trying to yes. do. So, so there's a lot of a lot of stuff coming up. So you're talking about the uh, the back crawl in just one day. When is mm -hmm. that going to happen? Um, that's on November 13th. Mm -hmm. uh, let me make sure I get that right. I think it's on November 13th, and it's the just crawl. We're, we're playing on the word just, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. and the just pork festival. Okay. Um, we're still kind of working on the name, but it's just pork. We're gonna just say just pork because that's what you're gonna have. Mm -hmm. And we know that traditionally here we have corn pork, dove pork, stew pork. 
Um, sauce. You got, you got a little sauce is still mm -hmm. pork in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe the person just want to offer some bacon, fry up some bacon, mm -hmm. the thick cut bacon like what mm -hmm. we used to get um, a long time ago. But the idea is just to have folks come to, to Just Van Dyke. Um, for a small fee, uh, we haven't worked out the, the price yet. It may be a little $5 sampler. You go around and you get a little toothpick or you get a little wooden fork. You want to keep it as natural as possible and you get to sample all these different ways that BVI people traditionally prepared um, mm -hmm. pork. Now, I do know that, that, that folks like to say, oh, well, it's the swine. It's yeah, not the yeah. most I'm healthy. One, I'm, I'm one of those people. You're one of them? Okay. Yeah, I'm one of them, yeah. Well, this is what I'm going to tell you. I, I'm going to counteract. Why, 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 why not? Well, it's not, the story too long. The story too long, okay. Yeah, the whole, the whole, it's, it's religious, okay. um, health, uh, you know, there's, there's a whole bunch of issues. So we, <laughs> we need to leave that story alone. I, I want, I want, I got to, I got to chuck in one. I got to chuck in <laughs> a little one in there. Yeah, you know, Miss Ellen, 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 Lucretia Benjamin Skelton. That, that be your mother. That's my grandmother. Your That's grandmother, my, your grandmother. my grandmother is up there. Yeah. At, uh, I think she's ninety-five now. Uh -huh. And if you give her a chance, she gonna, she gonna have a little piece of pork. Yeah. My grandmother in St. Croix uh -huh. lived to ninety-eight years old, uh -huh. and she with her gum, she would gum that pork. Yeah. So it's, it's. I think it's more of how we live our lives. In terms of the health part, I'm not going to go into the religious part. Uh, okay. But so what I'm going to adv advise all people, whoever coming to Just Van Dyke for mm -hmm. the Just Crawl or the Just Pork, do a little bit of extra exercise the day before, uh -huh. and do a little bit of exercise the day after. But come over, and even if you don't eat pork, like you've mentioned, um, just come and have a good time. Yeah. It's a chance to socialize. We know we're going to have the Puerto Ricans in. Mm -hmm. We know we're going to have the St. Jonians and the St. Tomians in. And... Let's build back that camaraderie that we used to have. I remember um, on the festival, Ground June Festival, we used to have a lot of Latin bands playing. Puerto Ricans would come over to, to the BVA to enjoy our festival. Let's build that back. You but, know? Well, well, um, so what entertainment are we going to go? We're going to go from bar to bar, um, drinking, eating. Restaurant. I think know? they do restaurant. a little bit more at a restaurant, restaurant. and, and okay. you're going to have some drinks. Um, each place will have its own, its, its own style of entertainment. entertainment. So okay. again, just like Anagata, there's, not, there's no central entertainment. Okay. We want you jumping in your vehicles, jumping on the shuttles, and just going. There's no gimmick like what we did with the, the Lobster Festival, with where you had to get beads or you attempted mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. you know, get five out of seven businesses. Mm -hmm. This, we just want you come. In line. Just hang, hang out. Yeah. Um, typically, when we go over, we go over to White Bay. And we know White Bay is one of the most beautiful beaches that we have um, throughout the region. We want you to see more. We want you to go over to the eastern end of the island. Um, a lot of the name is escaping me now for the restaurant down there. Oh, wow. It's escaping me. Yeah, but somebody, nonetheless, somebody send your text. There, there's some, about some, so, let, somebody let, tell let, me, let somebody text you and tell you what the name of the restaurant. Tell, tell me the restaurants over over on the eastern side of um of Joseph Van Dyke. Yeah. The name is right there, Harvey. It's, it's escaping me. Okay. Um Harris Place. Harris, Harris Place. Place. Okay. Ah wow. Yeah. Uh, I get you all for you. Yeah. Um so we want you to understand that there's more to Just Van Dyke. Um there is I call them the grassy, the grassy knoll. There's some some roads that are grassed over. You know, typically you have roads, you know, paved or open dirt road. Mm -hmm. There's a grassy road. I know Frank Mahoney, when he had um, the, the ATVs, he would take people on tours up there. It's such a picturesque, uh, like how we have the Ridge Road on Tortola. Mm -hmm. I consider it like the Ridge Road of, of, of Joseph Van Dyke. And there's some beautiful sceneries. Get up to the top of the hill, take a 360 um, view around. Come over great, to Joseph Van Dyke views. and have a good time. Real views. That's a okay. beautiful place. So okay. that's the idea behind the Just Crawl and the, um, the Just Port. Okay, and then what's what? what did you say? Yeah, and you also have usually have something uh, in Virgin Garda. Yes. Yeah. You, 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 you didn't you didn't make it to that one? No, I didn't get to Virgin Garda. Okay. So Virgin Garda. well, in just in, in Virgin Garda as well, we have the on the rocks crawl. So we know just I mean Anagata is known for its its rocks. So this is the on the rocks crawl, and again it's a bar crawl. Uh, we have about five or so businesses bars that are that are going to be a part of it. We start from one. You pay a small fee, you get a free T-shirt, a mug. You hop on the bus and we go around and we have some drinks and we have a great time. Um, that same day, um, which is on the nineteenth, that one is on the nineteenth of November. We also have the taste of Virgin Gorda, and that happens up in the Nail Bay ruins. Mm -hmm. And again, I don't know if I'm just you know bragging on RBVI, but if you've never been to the ruins up at Nail Bay, this is a perfect time to go up there. It is a beautiful, picturesque. Um, if if I ever get married, that's I think it, I think 
I think if I have any uh, say, what kind of state? What kind of state? If you have any say if, in your wedding plan, if I have any say in the wedding, in the wedding plan, plans, if the wedding happens, yeah. um, male be and, and, and I think the young you, you lady, got, that, you gotta watch yourself. The you young lady, watch. I know she's there watching. <laughs> you, gotta watch it. you gotta watch it like She me. agrees with me though. She she likes up there. She thinks up there is very but beautiful. Talk, but you talk about the if state. But you don't tell me what's my. State. I don't gone from that already. Oh, okay, you right. gotta realize I don't get myself you in trouble. So I don't gone from that. But um, the taste of Virgin Gotta happens up there. Last year we had our two tapping well-known jazz musician and you know we're hoping to have him back again this year because it rained a little bit last year mm -hmm. and so folks didn't get a chance to really enjoy Arturo and the music and the ambience he creates and again we're gonna have um, some of our local chefs there we have a chef that's coming in from Brazil and he is a well-known um, for his online medium social media younger chef um, uh, if I remember correctly it's Mohammed Hindi Mm -hmm. And he's coming over and he's going to add a little flair. He's going to be in a cook-off against two of our local chefs. And he's also going to be doing some educational components going around to the kids and we, at the And school. we're going to be able to sample. We're going to be sampling you'll, the food. You'll, you'll be able to sample, sample as well. Food. Yes, and yes, yes. And I know so, um, we, we had a couple of, either last year or uh, year before or uh, both, we had something in Noah Loy, uh, Positive Action yes. Pack. We still having that? So we're going to have that. And so now that takes us back up the calendar because the, um, the Taste of Virgin Gorda was November 19th. Mm -hmm. November 5th, we have the Taste of Tortola. Okay. And so uh, to, to kind of distinguish between the two, the Taste of Tortola is going to happen in the Queen Elizabeth Park. Okay. Again, this government has done a good job with our parks. Yes. The Noah Loy Park, the Queen Elizabeth Park, park, the Tortola Pay Park. Um, but the park is extremely beautiful now. That's right. Last year it was in, a, it, last year it was in, 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 in the QE2 park. In the QE2 yes. park last year. Yes. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was awesome. But the challenge last year that we had, one, it rained. We had to move the dates. Right. And the park wasn't quite ready. We knew it wasn't quite ready, but we wanted to try. And so the grass wasn't in yet. The landscaping wasn't done. Well, now we got to complete that. Oh, it's beautiful. And, and so I know that this is, this is again, something that's going to add a lot of spice to BVI Food Fed. Um, so we're going to have local music. We have another chef who's coming in from Puerto Rico, uh, chef, chef Stephen McQueenie, and he's going to do some exhibitions, live exhibitions. You pay a little bit extra, you get to sit front row, big screens. You know, he's going to have his microphone and he's going to be doing his thing. You'll be able to look up at the screen, see exactly what he's doing. You get to sample the food that he pre uh, prepared, and you also get the recipes. And again, two tin horns. Uh, we really, really want to thank Don Carlwood, Mr. Potter, and his whole team over at Rotan Wholesale. They have come on in a major way um, this year. Of course, you know, we, we don't like to talk about numbers and things like that, but I can say that Rotan Wholesale has stepped up unlike any other time before. And so all of the food that we're getting, every single, down to the garlic or the parsley, we're getting from um, Rotan Wholesale. So when these chefs come in and they give you those recipes, you can stand confident knowing that you can go into Rodan Wholesale, pick up and all of ingredients. those ingredients mm. and do exactly what you saw um, the, the chefs Now I know also uh, last year, it was a lot of local participation. Yes. Yeah. Is that, that's, that's, that's the same thing. That's the same. We're thing. looking for about 20 or 30 restaurants. Um, we, we're, we're tapping into all of the wine purveyors um, mm -hmm. in the BVA and we want them to come out and it's, it's a little bit of a, a wine sampling. There is going to be a cash bar that you can get any type of drink that you want. But there is going to be, um, it's, it's more for the wine sampling um, aspect. We want to have the local bands and the Mocha Jumbies. We have fire dancers scheduled um, to do a little bit of performing. We have the local bands and, and we're looking at a, a pan jazz group to mm -hmm. come in to give us the steel pan but with a jazz flair. And so that day is going to be a very festive, I, I very family-oriented. I, I had some tremendous vegetarian food. Okay. I had about three or four vegetarian re uh, restaurants. Restaurants. Yeah. So Melamoo's, one of my favorites was mm -hmm. the Melamoo's Cafe uh, at Christopher. Yeah. And oh, we had, basketball buddy. Yes, our basketball <laughs> buddy. And um, we had, uh, so I can't remember the other names, but we had, a, we had some great vegetarian food. And, and I'm, I'm happy to see that. More and more uh, restaurants are getting, getting into, involved, in, yes. in, into 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 healthier healthier, healthier foods. foods. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's that's certainly uh, good. We're gonna take a break. Okay. We're gonna come back and talk some more about the upcoming activities and and and, and talk a little bit about the the, the tourism upcoming tour, the, well, the, 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 the state of the, tourism. The, the state of tourism, mm -hmm. state of tourism as it is now. And I know we got some good uh, a good report. Mm -hmm. I saw some numbers from um, from the director. In, in, in the article at the, in the Caribbean Journal, and it really, really uh, 
our expect ex mm -hmm. our expectations with the crew spare mm -hmm. development and other projects that that's coming on stream uh, i think we have, uh, seem to meet our expectations yes. i'm surprised so, yeah mm -hmm. so we're going to come right back after these words from our sponsors keep it locked spotlight is brought to you by tortola concrete limited and ctl home center the best products for the lowest prices period Welcome to the new Clarence Thomas Limited Home Center in Fish Bay. You can expect so much great things out of this new facilities. Our new paint department, um, feature and valves for our paints. Our new brand new drive through lumber yard. Um, our, you know, new plumbing department. Our new lawn and garden department. Uh, featuring plants by Groundworks BVI. That's one of the many collaborations that we've actually done um, as, an, as a company, trying to basically do as much as possible with, with more of the local companies as we possibly can and basically put everything under one roof. Remember, CTL is your new destination store. Uh, that's, that's, that's absolutely fabulous. Uh, lots of parking, comfortable, comfortable location, very clean environment. You know, you, you come in and you feel at home and the service level is something that we are definitely working on continuously to bring that experience to you from the moment you get out your car to the moment you leave the registers heading back um, to your car. And we just love being able to serve the people of the territory. We love being here for nearly 50 years doing this. And uh, we look forward to being here for an additional 50 or more years serving the people of the British Virgin Islands. I'm standing in front of our new Valspar paint department and you notice it's strategically positioned in the store so it's pretty much one of the first departments that you run into as you enter into CTL. I mean here we have the ability to mix over 1200 colors um, to satisfy any homeowner's taste um, at all possible. Valspar is one of the largest paint companies in the world and uh, we were fortunate enough when they picked us um, to be the distributors in the British Virgin Islands. Uh, we have a great staff, Erasmus, who actually runs our paint department, um, really knows what he's doing, um, extremely, extremely helpful. And you know, our job in this department is to really satisfy all your color needs, all your repairs as it's relative to, to basically, you know, updating your home, whether it's uh, renovation or whether it's a new home. And we're really excited about this department. Get online, see us, we're constantly uploaded all our new products and specials and everything online. So please do visit us online. And enjoy your country, local foods like fish and fungi. Rates you can afford, enjoy hotel sailing and more. Me tell them, no need to go nowhere. We have what you need right here. Relax at our resorts and take a sightseeing tour. Come on out and you should take this opportunity to have a vacation station for you and me. Me tell them, hands sing BBI will. Them to the sky, rock from side to side, vacation for you and I. And now it's time to plan your BVI staycation. Visit us at www.bvistaycation.com. This is a message from the BVI Tourist Board's staycation campaign. Welcome back to uh, Spotlight. I'm, I'm, as you could tell, I'm having a lot of fun here talking to Rodney. He's the events marketing manager, manager mm -hmm. for the uh, BVI Tourist Board. And this time of the, of the year is our time of the year to enjoy on uh, the BVI. And, and the food fit mm -hmm. is being launched on Friday this weekend. Friday. This, this Friday, three days from now, um, 5.30. Yes. And so 5.30, we'll, we'll get the formalities out of the way. And I know even the ministers and the representative for the second district, they're going to want to get into the party. So we're not going to be there talking too long. I just tell them to keep their, their speeches for half a minute. I, I ain't going to tell them that. that. <laughs> I, I want to keep my job, so I, I ain't telling them. They could talk as long as they want to. But, um, you yeah. know, we're going to keep it short and sweet. And then we get into these fried fish and Johnny Cakes and, and try some of the different variations of the, the Carlwoods rum. Again, Friday, um, the 23rd, 5.30 p.m. It's going to go till about 9. 
Mm -hmm. And then um, we move over to Mayets. At the Mayets. At Mayets. Um, I do know that Ron Klein um, just opened up Paradise. And he just got it going. He wasn't sure if he was going to have it going in time. So I know um, there's going to be a party at the new Paradise. Paradise is yes, on the beach front. Just up, just, just up from, um, from Mayets. Ju up, up, uh, just past Tony's. Pa uh, no, a little bit more oh, than that, but past Rhymers. Past Rhymers, a little, okay. The one right next to Rhymers. Okay. Um, and he has a really nice place set up, nice wooden floors okay. and, and everything. Like, really nice. I was there this weekend. So I know he's going to have so some it was, activities. So it, had, it, had it had something there before. And yes, that, and it was always that, there. It was always Paradise. Yeah, and then it changed over. Okay, so, I think, so Ryan, um, Klein is, Ryan Klein had it now. He, he has it now, and it's really nice. If you haven't been there, get a chance to pop down there. Okay. So. King Garden Bay is the place it's to spot, be yeah, on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I know the media has already um, um, given me some, some, some curveballs in, in terms of the last interview that I did, but we do know, and it would be remiss of me not to mention it, we do know that we're going through these little scares right now with all of these mosquito-borne illnesses and things like that. Um, again, the Ministry of Health, um, they're coming through and they're going to be doing some fogging and dropping some lava side in the, in the ponds, the surrounding ponds, to make sure that while we're down there having a great time on mm -hmm. Friday, that this is not something that we have to worry about. You know, we'll have them out of the way. We have some huge fans that we're bringing in to, to help blow the, uh, any potential mosquitoes off. We're going to have the, uh, what do you call them, the citronella candles. We have sprays. There is zero reason not and, to and, come and down. You need, and you need to we just wear a nice um, long sleeve nice shirt, shirt. And, some, and, some long, and some pants. Yes, yeah, yes. So, you it, know, it, it, you know so be, could, yeah. be responsible. Be responsible. But, so that's on that's on that's on Friday, and if I run through the the, the days of the events that we have really yeah, quickly, let's, let's, yeah, I want to do it chronologically. Do it, yeah, chronologically. Yes. All right, chronologically, here we go. Mm -hmm. October thirtieth, so September twenty third, the launch is on Friday. Right. October thirtieth, we have the Barefoot Gourmet Soiree. This is the following week. That's the following month. The following month. Month October. Oh yeah, right, right. So right, October thirtieth, right. okay, on Norman mm -hmm. Island, um, over at the Bite, Barefoot Gourmet Soiree. We then move to the QE two Park. For the family fun, festive type atmosphere um, at the QE2 Park for Taste of Tortola. The next event would be on November 13th. So every weekend in November, something's going on. November 13th, we have the Just Crawl and the Just Pork. Just Pork is new. Um, it's over on Just Van Dyke. A chance to sample pork, sample some drinks, meet up with old friends from the USVA, Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and just have a great old time. And I'm going to skip one little thing, and we're going to jump down to November 19th. And November 19th is the On the Rocks Bar Crawl and the Taste of Virgin Gorda um, event. Taste of Virgin Gorda event happens at Nail Bay. This is slightly more mature crowd. Um, the price point is a little bit different. Our two root tappings should be in. It's definitely something more of an intimate um, an intimate mm -hmm. affair. And of course, all the bar crawls, you just get a chance to go out and have a great time. And then we wrap up on the last weekend of November with the lobster fest. The, your, your lobster fest. We, we might even have to rename this thing at some point. As you ain't got lobster fest. There, there you go. You know how um, in the village you <laughs> name the village after somebody? Yeah, might, yeah, yeah. The first year might have to be after Edu <laughs> Um So we have the lobster fest. We're making some slight changes. Mm -hmm. You will not be seeing beads this year. Okay. We're going to give you a different token. Okay. So um, there won't be any beads. We have a new token. We have the heritage sites. I know you're very particular about getting to see these uh, flamingos. I hope you did last night. I didn't get to see them last night. I, I don't know why I bring this up. Yeah. But we're going to make this year, we're supposed to be trying to get some actual binoculars at the, the site so that you'll be able to look out and see the flamingos if they're home. Okay. Um, so we're changing it up a little bit. We have the heritage sites, the Faulkner House Museum. The old Fisherman's Wharf has been redone really beautifully. Um, we have the, the any, Botanic any, Gardens. Any, any work at the, the, the Iguana Park? The Iguana Park, a little bit of work has been more beautification and things mm -hmm. like that is, is happening there. Of course, you know the challenge with the feral cats over there, but um, National Parks is doing a really good job with, with trying to make sure that, you know, all local iguanas thrive. So, Anigat is going to be a great place. Friday night, there's a, 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 the Lobster Crawl, which is a bar crawl. Right. And we're working on the Saturday night and having a concert type event there that folks can, you go home, take a little shower after the long day with the Lobster Festival, and then in the evening you come back down into the main town and enjoy some good music, some more good fun, food, and things like that. So we're, we're adding a little bit, you know, well, to that, that. That would be great. And somebody takes you about, um, about two, two smooth bands. Two smooth bands. Band. Well, if, we if you could get two smooth bands to come over for the, for the uh, 
to, to play with the, the other artists that yeah. you're bringing in to open up for the artists or whatever, that would be good. Or even if you get them over on Friday night. The Friday night, I think, would be great the for Friday them. Friday night would be and great even for if them. We, even if things don't quite work out the way we planned, we're definitely going to have something. I, I can promise you, the listening audience, the looking audience, the viewing audience, we will have entertainment Friday night and Saturday night, something more of a general nature for folks. We want to make sure that you enjoy the time that you're there. We're going to be working with the um, the yachts, the mooring, sun sail, mm -hmm. uh, marine max, to see if they can offer some really, really incredible specials. You know, those boats have four cabins. There's, there's like three star, four star, five star rules. Yes. And so if a couple of couples, that, that came already, a couple of couples, a couple of couples yes. if a couple of couples get together, I mean, you that might find... That would be exactly four. You might find a couple of couples <laughs> is exactly four people. You may find that it's economical. Yes. And you just take up a captain and maybe for, you know, three, four hundred bucks at night, which is the same price as, uh, as rooms over there, you know, you can get a nice room because we know um, Anigata is kind of limited in terms of the rooms that they have. So we're going to be working with the, the, the yachts and stuff to have rooms available on sea to complement the rooms that we have on land. I do want to stick in that we have one more event that we just got that we're working on. Mm -hmm. um, by the orders of the Premier, and it's his wish to have us reopen the old prison. Um, we know that it's, it's intended to be a museum. So we are working hard to try to pull off an event in the museum. We're thinking it's going to be more like a mixologist type competition. Um, I've begun working on a name. I gave you the name. You like it, so that might become the name. Um, unshackled. Yes. You know, because yes. we're unshackling the old museum and opening it up to the, the, to the public. Prison, yes. So you, you can take credit to saying that you're the first person that supported the name Unshackled if we go with that name. Okay. But the, the prison, the old prison, is definitely a site that tourists, something else that tourists can get a chance to come and see and, and come and enjoy. So we have a month full yeah, of activities. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, it sounds like uh, jamming. Uh, we go to, we're under the turning the clock. Mm -hmm. We didn't get a chance to talk about um, the great numbers I saw uh, posted in the article by Ms. Flax Boutos. Yeah, the director. So, well, I but it was, but yeah, but it, was, it was amazing to me that uh, in the first six months of the year, tourism was, was had almost doubled. Yes, the, yes. The, 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 cruise, cruise tourism. the cruise tourism. The cruise yes. tourism definitely um, has picked up. And it happens whenever you have a new facility. I know there's a lot of um, politics and thing going on behind that. That's not for me to say. I know that it's a facility that we definitely need if we're going after, um, after the cruise tourists. And it's, it's already paying dividends in what its first year. Um, so I think we're right now, uh, well, at the time that the director made her statement, I think we were right around 650, 700,000 combined folks. That's day sale, that's overnighters, and that's cruise, cruise mm -hmm. tourists. Mm -hmm. I think we're right around that 650, 700,000 mark. Um, the month of October, just cruise tourists, I believe, if I have my numbers correctly, it's about 30 or 40,000 that we expect in the month of October. That's just cruise tourists. Mm -hmm. um, when you go to November, that picks up to about 100,000. And then, so you're looking at you're looking at close to over a million this year. The, the director was right on point, right yeah. on point. And when you definitely hit November, end of November, going into December, um, that's a hundred thousand, hundred and twenty thousand people easily coming in. So mm -hmm. um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna eclipse. I'm confident, barring any natural disasters or anything like that, fingers crossed. Um, everybody said their prayers. Mm -hmm. We will eclipse that um, million million mark that the director has in mind, and our offices overseas are working extremely hard to try to make that happen. Before we go, I know we're under the tyranny of the clock. I forgot to mention um, CCT. Yes. CCT has come on again as well in a huge way. I've read Penn, Janet Brin, thank you uh, for coming on board as a sponsor. And they're going to have, you know, they had those lovely glasses, those orange glasses everyone had. Um, they're going to have that. They're working on making sure that we have um, Wi-Fi access throughout each event. And they're going to be offering specials and deals. And so thank you, CCT. Thank you, Rotown Wholesale. National Bank came in, surprisingly. And you would think, well, what, what would National Bank have to gain? And I think they're just showing their community-mindedness. Um, Joy, I believe it's Joy Francis, mm -hmm. um, there at the bank, thank you. They came in and, and gave us a, a, a small cash, cash sponsorship to help with the event. Um, all the venues that, that, that we're going to be using. Peter Island is going to be hosting some of our chefs. Um, so hopefully I didn't miss anyone, but thank you, thank you, sponsors, anyone that I missed. I have a couple of more shows to do. Yes. So yeah, I'll, I'll get you, you bring, in bring, then. bring a list with you when you're coming. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It was good to see you. Great, great chat. And we're looking forward to this weekend at um, the food fed down by uh, Calvo Distillery and, of course, after party by Mayette. So um, going to the bay this weekend. There you go. The, 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 down to the bay. That's, that's where the action is. That's where the action is. Yes.
Good to see you, Rodney. Good to, good to have you back. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, You're putting man. me to work already. As I reach, they put me to work. But that's why it's a, that's why it's a vote. You know, <laughs> that's why it's a vote. Gotta, if you're building something, there's, there's a thick wall. Yes. You know. Yes, indeed. Thank you for uh, watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Of course, Spotlight is seen every Tuesday here at JTV Channel 55. And we broadcast Sundays at 2.30. So make sure you catch it. If not, you could also get Spotlight on Demand at JTVLive.net. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Spotlight BVI. Uh, you can catch up with the latest Spotlights. You know, all the stuff is posted on, on the Facebook page. You can make comments, like the page, please. We need to get some likes, more likes. We're up, uh, I think, around uh, 375. We need to get some more likes. And, of course, uh, you could make suggestions as to what topics and what guests you want to uh, hear and see on Spotlight. I'm Adrienka reminding you that when the Spotlight is on, you see the facts. Peace and blessing. Spotlight is brought to you by Ocean Conversion BVI Limited and BVI Tourist Board. We are one BVI.